Okay, today's lesson is on how to add a crystal rivet to a metal cuff. In this particular case, this is a half inch by six inch piece of nickel silver that I've already stamped and I've already put one rivet in and added one hole just to show you how. Um, for the rivets that are generally designed for leather, you want a one eighth inch hole. You can do that by using a one eighth inch drill bit or by using the power punch. So this is the Euro Tool Power Punch. You put use the correct size guide and the correct size pin, and then you place it on the metal where you want your hole to be, and then you squeeze together. Now this is 18 gauge, so it takes a little, a little bit of elbow grease here. Now we've got another hole where we want it to be on the bracelet. So we'll take a crystal rivet put it in through the front so the crystal shows through the front put the back on the rivet now on the crystal rivets because they are rounded on the front you need to make sure that you're hammering down straight or it's easy for the rivet back to turn kind of sideways so we're just going to take the flat edge of our hammer and just kind of lightly tap 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 using our rubber block and once it starts to set and it looks like it's straight, I'm going to hit it a couple extra times. And there our rivet is. So we'll do that. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add another rivet. Find the matching back to this. Put the back on again. I like to use the edge of my block so I'm not getting... Um, anything else in the way here. Tap, 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 tap until we know that it's on straight. And then we're going to hit it a little harder. And hopefully, yep, yeah, our rivet looks great on the front. Now we have a piece of metal that needs to be bent into a cuff. This is where the bracelet bending pliers with the nylon jaw come into play. Um, these are now offered in pink, by the way, in my shop. Um, which is a sparkling shamrock exclusive. So we take the metal. Um, see how the nylon jaws are not quite as wide as the metal? So we can start on the edge, bend it all the way around here, and then we'll kind of finish on the other edge just to make sure that we're even. It's okay to put the benders over the rivets if you need to. And this doesn't bend it quite sharp enough into a bracelet shape, so once I get my basic shape, then I just take the benders and just kind of bend it to about what I think it's going to need to fit. I usually use my own wrist as a guide. Um, depends on who you're making it for. Um, the, uh, the bracelets may need to be a little wider or a little more narrow. So again, this is just a basic piece of nickel that has been stamped. Then we added some rivets and um, polished this up a little bit. And it's pretty shiny, pretty sparkly. Lots of fun.